Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're gonna be doing Act 8.3.6, which is the final quest of Chapter 3. And you can see the team that I decided to go in here with, and you'll see why when we select our path. Now, the path that I'm gonna select is the one that I consider to be the easiest path, especially for my roster. Okay, now take a look at this here, Elrich Scar. Once I saw that, Mystic Attacker, Nullify, you already know, Claire, Doom, maybe even a long shot. But I'm definitely going to be thinking of Claire because I have her ranked up. And all of this, you know, where if you're so close, uh, they get a Fury. Well, guess what? That's good, because Claire will nullify it and get that bonus. Now, you don't have to play the node. It just makes things easier for you. Now, I could go in here with a non-mystic and do this path, no problem, okay? But it would be more difficult, especially when they put Hyperion up here first. I do not like Hyperion because he sometimes doesn't like to throw his specials and he'll go right to a special free and wreck you. All right, but as you can see, I can um, fire off my special two and then he won't get his uh, uh, energize or, or passive uh, power gain. All right, and you can see I'm nullifying it and I'm trying to bait this out. Come on, there we go. He, if you notice, he waited until his power gain buff was about to come again, and then he fired his special. We know. We got you. All right. So this is light work for Claire. Uh, Doom also can stagger him, can uh, drain his power. Both of them are great uh, options for this uh, path, okay? Uh, I would recommend one of those two for this path. Uh, it makes your life easier when you can uh, power control your enemies. All right, so here we go. Look at that. All that hit, and he stayed at 1% for just a little too long. Y'all notice that. Now, I remember when that was a thing and they weren't saying anything. I'm like, there's a bug, you know, it, it seems like they have like a safeguard. And as you're approaching, you know, um, the 1% and lower, it seems to be doing a little less damage unless you do a lot of damage and then it doesn't really matter. Uh, and I was told that far from acknowledging it as a bug, there was a comment that it was a uh, challenge mode. Now, I don't know if they were being uh, funny or, or what have you, but I don't find it funny. I do not like that 1%. It has cost me um, resources, frustration, but it is what it is. Anyway, we're fighting uh, Red Skull here. And again, light work for Claire. He's not going to get all of those armor ups because Claire's going to nullify him. All right. Now he's unblockable, but his specials are very easy to evade. So we don't care. Notice that I switched over into Curse of Blood so that I could get some uh, more uh, health back. And I'm kind of staying over here because I want to try to get her health back up. That's one of the reasons I love player she's very sustainable all right see this is all unblockable but who cares all right here we go look at that health bar and we're back to full well minus the five percent because i'm running recoil anyway that's good enough though now we can take him down and then that happens so all that nice health that I just grabbed. I grabbed a little bit more. Here we go. Bam. And then 1%. You see how that works? 
but we did get our health back. He gave back what he stole from me. Love me some Claire. Love me some Claire. All right. Next up, we've got Cable. Now, um, he can be tricky. He can be tricky. I have Cable. I have my Cable ranked up. He don't act like the Cable uh, that I'm usually fighting. I'll just say that. So, uh, I wish my Cable uh, behaved like that. But there you go. She can nullify it. But you see how he was getting that power uh, gain and all that? I wish mine did that. All right. So the uh, special two is pretty easy to evade. At any time, I'd rather push him to his special uh, two. Now, I saw that the unblockable was uh, there, and I thought that it ended with the special. Not so. That's not how that works. It's got a timer. It's just that usually Claire nullifies it. So um, it's all good. And again, you can use a five-star Claire. You do not need, you, you know, you don't need a, a six-star Claire. Um, but the higher you can, you know, the higher um, rarity you can bring the easier of a time you're gonna have. Unless they are a gimmicky, you know, if it's a gimmicky fight, then it doesn't matter. Uh, one time I brought a four star Void into Labyrinth of Legends and fought X23 in there. And if you wanna see it, it's still on my channel. Uh, and a four star in Labyrinth of Legends, people are like, are you crazy? I got a one shot though. So, you know, other than gimmicky fights though, generally you want to go in with as much as you can, you know, bring. Unless you're just looking for a challenge, which I'm usually not. That, that, that's just not a thing for me. All right. So got him down and we're, we're moving along, moving along. Oh man, when we get to the boss, you guys, uh, the boss was a treat. Let me just say that the boss was a treat. Um, so now we got super scroll and again, they lined this up. They did it on purpose. So thank you, kabam, but they lined it up and this path was made for Claire, you know, doom can do it as well, but it was made for Claire. This is, this is just Claire all day, every day. Okay. For me, she is the best for this path. Look at this. Just ripping them up already back to a, a special two, but I'm, I'm wanting to bait this out because he's not going to throw it till I have that falter on me. I know how the AI work now. So just do that little swipe to get it off me. And then he's unblockable, but that's fine. Get him. I kind of wanted, uh, I think, to fire a special uh, two, but I was like, whatever. Man, I hate that special two of his. I'm just happy that it wasn't unblockable. I cannot evade that. Maybe somebody else. I I I've seen it. It is possible. Not me, though. And you see, I'm in Curse of Blood, trying to get a little bit of my health back. Okay, here we go. Get rid of that falter. He's dancing around. Here we go, get my health back. But he's got that special two again that I have to block. And I was really hoping he wouldn't uh, do that. And see, I'm not in Curse of uh, Hellfire right now. So I'm just going back, getting my health back. Look at that. Player, man. And when you got that immunity, I'm getting lots of power from all these nullifications and everything. Like I said, this is made for her. Just look at that. And I'm about to get another special too. Look at this. Crazy. And there you go. 1% again. 
you see a theme, right? Anyway, doesn't look like they're going to fix it, and they probably did it on purpose and just don't want to tell nobody. Cool. But anyway, we got him down. He can be annoying if you don't have a good counter for him. So when you're planning out your path, you always want to look at the defenders as well. And if you don't have a good option for him, maybe this path is not for you for, you know, the easy path. And we got Nimrod, who is not really any problem. And his immunity makes it even better for uh, Claire. Except you don't want, if you don't know how to evade his specials and they go unblockable, it could be a bad day for you. So just remember that. I'm trying to time it so that I'm not having to evade fully. If you notice, I'm not evading fully. You're like right there. I just blocked it. As long as it's not unblockable, we good. And see, now we have the unblockable there. And I delayed a little bit, but I still managed to uh, nullify it. So I don't have to deal with any unblockable um, specials here. There we go. See, unblockable again. But it didn't last that long anyway. All right, come on, come on. Give it up. There you go. Right before it went unblockable. And then buff immunity. No more unblockable for that. And there he goes again. All right. Let's get that striker in there. But bam, bam, bam. And then we get to nice combo. All right, now he's, oh, E. Ah, there you go. He's unstoppable, but watch this. No more unstoppable. Love me some Claire. Let me tell you. And he didn't get his unblockable again because he still had the buff immunity on. Claire is just awesome, y'all. Look at it. Look at her go. Look at her go. All right. Now, let me tell you, you don't want to get hit with a special two. It will wreck you. Claire will go down hard if she gets hit with his special. And I'm not going to mention the fact that he was at 1% while I was smacking, smacking, smacking into him for a little bit. And finally, he went down. It's okay. We got you. All right. And I think this is the final fight of the path. And Hulkling, another defender that is Claire Food. Pretty much every defender on here is like the perfect player food okay so how she's just taking out his buffs and every time she's doing that she's gaining more power now i could have gone into curse of plague and controlled his power while still doing all of this but i was trying to get done faster so i went into curse of hellfire because that's her damage mode and i do run the ouchie masteries Recoil, double edge, liquid courage. So she's hitting harder than uh, yours would be if you are not running those as well. So look at this. Look at that. Claire, Claire just tear him up. Come on, let's get that striker in there. Wah, wah, wah. Get a whole nother combo. Come on, get it up. Come on, get it up. There you go. Woo! There it is. Get him again. That time, he couldn't stay at 1%. All right. The boss fight. You're about to see my very first time at this boss. I don't really know much about him, but I watched, I think, one video of somebody fighting this boss one video okay and everybody was like he was fun pretty easy uh you're gonna like him i'm like okay okay let's uh see how that goes now i was thinking should i bring in somebody else i mean 
Who, who do I bring in? Who am I going to swap in? People were saying Venom was a, a good option for this uh, boss. And so I'm like, hmm, okay. I could do Venom, but I do have Hercules. But people were saying Venom. I think I looked at the, um, oh yeah, that's right. Um, I really dislike, I, I hope they fix it. I know it's still new, but the relic interface really needs to be revamped. Okay. But I remember that people were saying venom with the venom relic. Okay. And I was thinking of doing that, but then I said, you know what? I saw someone do this, uh, and I think they used Hercules. And so I was like, okay, I'm just going to bring in Angela, because I also saw them do it with Angela. And I'm like, maybe I'll just do this one, you know, have Angela as a backup, but you need a relic. You absolutely need a relic for this fight. Do not go into this fight without a relic. I don't care if it's a three-star relic, four-star relic. Use a relic on whoever you're going in here with, or else you're going to cry. Just, just telling you, you have the warning. All right. So you can see here, I, I have a lot of um, thought. Now, what you saw right there, I actually ended the uh, previous recording so that just in case anything weird happens, I would still have the path recorded and now we're going to do the boss. So you saw everything. I had a little 15% uh, boost because I have so many of them. All right. So check this out, y'all. All right. This is a pretty cool fight, I must say. Look at the icons underneath. He has three sets of armor. And different actions take down the armor. Okay. And Relic, the striker, takes down one of the armors. So that means if you don't have a striker, you can't do this fight. Okay, you're not going to be able to get that armor down. Now, what you want to do is get all of the armor down at the same time. And he'll go into a wounded state and you can start really working him over. Okay? So you can see here, you better learn how to evade his special i'm just telling you that you need to learn how to evade his special all right see i got one armor down okay the next armor is down all right now we need to um hit him with the striker there we go bam all right now i'm gonna need to there we go intercept him All right, and now we're actually in the next phase. So there are videos out there that will explain this fight far better than I can, all right? But you want to bring all those shields down. So what you see me doing, I actually am doing a rotation that uh, was recommended. I believe it was MCLC Noob uh, that I watched. And he had this, he had two uh, rotations, but this one I like the best. Okay. So what you do, you evade the, um, let me uh, get to the beginning here so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Cause I'm doing the same thing over again. All right. See, there you go. He's wounded. All of them are down. And now you just want to just go ham. All right, and I'll talk more about this one. All right, so you see the uh, armors that are there now, right? And he will explain it way better. So go look at MCOC New. But basically, hit into the block once. Just get used to that because you can hit more than once into the block and not be penalized, but later on, you can't. So get used to just hitting once into the block knocking them down 
is another one and the striker so striker knocking him down hitting into the block so my rotation which i got from mcoc new was i'll hit with a striker then i'll hit with a heavy to knock him down then don't look at that i was getting happy because i was like whoa i'm doing good this is my first time but i'll i'll fire the striker off do a, a heavy to knock him down evade the special one and then pop right into the block just once and then wash rinse and repeat see striker heavy evade the special well i was just trying to use that up but um evade the special and then rush in hit once into the block wash rinse and repeat okay uh this is why people were saying hercules doesn't work did you see that the indestructible that hercules usually gets was removed and it went on to him that's why people were thinking that it didn't work now i got thrown off by that but okay here we go we're gonna try it again see i'm i'm really out of rhythm right now so there's the striker Hit into the heavy, uh, heavy him. Now you gotta evade this. Hit into the block. And then just keep doing that. You know, fight, hit the striker. Heavy, boom, boom. Evade, pa, 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 boom. Once into the block. That's pretty much what I do. But you wanna keep track of those, and I don't do that very well. Um, because if you don't keep track of them, you see how it just went back up to 300? You want to keep track of those. So definitely watch a proper guide like MCLC Noobs um, so that you can understand what's going on here. But this is my first time. And so what I did when I came in here was just follow that rotation and just try to get them all down at the same time. And then he fought me with that. It's all good because later on he becomes stun immune. But with the striker, you can still get the um, uh, the uh, stun. So that was my first ever attempt, and I actually did really well. Now, if you watched me do this later on stream, I actually got a solo. But this was my very first, and I was like, you know what? I had brought in Angela, but Hercules did a really good job. So I'm like, you know what? Let's go back in there with Hercules and see if we can't finish him off. Because now I'm a little bit warmed up to the fight and I kind of know how it works. Very simple and straightforward if you just do that rotation. So you'll watch me here do that rotation. All right, we're in phase three. And by the way, to go to the next phase, you have to intercept them. So when they're ready to go to the next phase, you got to intercept and bam, they'll go to the next phase. So you can see here, I'm starting to do it again. All right, boom. One hit into the block, build up. There, we got the striker, heavy, evade the special one, hit into the block. Do it again. Ba, 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 ba. Now, this time I knocked him down, so it took away all of his armor on that part. All right. Hit into the block. Now I got the next one. Now I got to do the striker. See how that worked? But I kind of messed up because now I don't have another striker to get it down. So you see how it went back up? The armor went back up because I got out of timing. That special two that I did, I shouldn't have done. See what happens? I got out of my rotation. All right, here we go. We got two armors down. And I don't remember which one. I have to learn those. Um, but there you go. So now we need to... There we go. He started hitting me, so now they're back up. That's what happens. And so it can be very frustrating. Now, um... Yeah. At this point, I'm just like, okay, let's just try to get him down. <laughs> Hey, look at that. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting all off here. All right, there we go. All right, so that was uh, 
hit into the block. All right, there's the spirit. There we go. Heavy. Bam. Okay, now I hit into his block, but I was all off on my timing. Okay, so here we go. Again. There we go. Heavy. Two armors. Now I have to bait this out. Hit into the block. But I got to hit into the block. There we go. Now we got him down. Now he's wounded. There it is. Finally. Very sloppy. All right, now you see all the feed purple? You've got to intercept at this point. Okay? So I'm trying to intercept him. I'm trying to intercept him. Phase four. That's what you have to do to get to every phase. Okay? Now this phase, you got to just stay away from him, if I remember correctly. Um... And he will slowly lose his health like that. And then I use this one just to get him away from me because he was about to wreck me in that corner. And then, bam, you got to hit into his um, block. You do a big buttload of damage, and he's down. So definitely use a guide like MCLC Noob. This is not really a guide. I'm just trying to help you get through this. But that's pretty much... Um, what I was doing in that fight. Following that rotation, getting those armors down, that's a very simple and straightforward fight. And it was kind of fun. All right, so that is gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.